here your site map example is so this is the URL of your site map if you use this site map URL all of these will be automatically included and if you want to submit an individual URL then you can click on this copy link URL so you can submit in this way so I'm using basically I'm submitting this URL first copy this sitemap URL draw C and then go to this sitemap so you need to put this site URL sitemap URL this and click on submit button so after submitting you will get this message sitemap submitted successfully so yeah our sitemap is uh, submitted to the google search console so you can uh, uh, read this message basically you will get this couldn't refresh page so don't worry this is not an error basically the reason is uh, i have created this url for very first time that's why this is not available on google page so if you just click on the url inspection and uh, paste this url so you can check the status of our url just paste here and press enter it will take a few uh, some time so it will it will basically tell us the status of our url it uh, either it is working or not if it is working then google will fetch after one or two days so uh, this this url is not on google that's why it's it's not uh, uh, working uh, on mission so our url is uh, uh, working fine the i here i have read one blog uh, related to this error so basically this mean uh, couldn't refresh means the status is pending so uh, we can try this by reloading the page i have already tried and i have tested this url by inspection url so this is not basically an error this is we have to wait the status is pending and we have to wait uh, for two or three days so this this is basically the so guys uh, as we discussed in earlier video so i have submitted the site maps and this site map was this could not fetch error so now as you can see i was submitted in 21 april and uh, after two or three days as i just said in previous video or in previous part so i said it will automatically the status will be changed to success after three or four days so i have visited uh, yesterday tomorrow so my status is changed to success so what we do is uh, we have to only wait for at least two to three days or maximum four to five days as well so it will work so don't worry when you get could not fetch uh, after submitting your site map so it is not an error basically google will take some time to fetch these uh, categories or some uh, site maps so it will automatically change the status from could not fetch to success so that's all this video so you don't need to worry about it just wait and it will automatically change status